other. First and ten starts now. Sponsored by Albertsons. All right. Hi, hello, and welcome in to the Week 5 edition. It's the midway point of First wow. and Ten. I'm George Faust. Yeah, this season's been flying by. I'm mm -hmm. Madeline Adams. George, what if week five it was? Remember as well, your final scores are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Madeline, you were at our game of the week, a big game. A big game. The 21st ranked team in the nation, Catholic High Baton Rouge in town to face four time defending state champ LCA. First play of the game, Daniel Beal throws a dime to Shelton Sampson. Nice. Reservations for six, and the Bears making a statement early. But LCA, they would answer quickly. Juwan Johnson drops back, throws a laser to Alonzo Reyes. Toe to toe we go. All knotted up at seven. And this was like a playoff game tonight at night field. Corey Singleton in the Wildcat for Catholic. And on the tackle, the ball pops out. LCA there to recover it. Devin Walton falls on it to give the ball to the Knights. They'll take the lead with a field goal after that 10 7. But the Beal to Sampson connection just too strong. How about that catch? Touchdown Whoa. Catholic and the Bears hand LCA their first loss of the season, 38 to 17, the final. And talking to Trev Falk, you know, he said the games like that prepared them for the postseason, and it felt like a playoff game tonight. Both of the stands were packed. Uh, you could just feel in the atmosphere that those two teams are going to make very deep runs into the playoffs. Yeah, it, it, uh, good news for LCA is they don't have to play them right. in the postseason. <laughs> so uh, you can look at that and, <laughs> and maybe as a positive. How about a District 7 2 A matchup tonight in Youngsville between Catholic New Iberia and Ascension Episcopal? The Panthers have the ball first, but on the first drive, fumble it. The forced fumble for the Blue Gators, they take over. Ascension quarterback Cade Dardar. Hands to Princeton Cahey, who leaves everyone in the dust. 7 nothing Blue Gators. Catholic ran the ball well in between the 20s, but they could not punch it in. Ascension Episcopal goes on to win to go to 4-1 and one on the season. 29 nothing. you're fine. And across town, Josh Fontenot, his Sharks visiting Acadiana for district play, 3-5 Bay. Southside quarterback Landon Baptiste hands it off to Vernell Joseph here, gets the ball taken away from him. Reckon Rams recover Acadiana first down there. A little bit later, Aiden Trahan tosses it deep to Russell Babineau. Check out this catch. Puts the Rams Ooh. in the red zone. And Amari Wiggins is there to punch it in for the Rams. Acadiana goes on to win 35 to 10, the final. Another week of high school football, another tough competition for the STM Cougars taking on Rustin, the Bearcats. Up 27 7 in the second, but SPM's Walker Howard throws this dime to Baron Sawyer. Watch this catch. Oh my. Unbelievable toe swag drag right there. 27 14 after that. Rustin was tough tonight, though. They responded with, with what seemed like an easy drive, a 45 yard run here for the Bearcats. That was a touchdown. Rustin pulls away. Walker Howard leaves this game with a lower leg injury. His status unknown. We'll, of course, keep you posted on that. As the week wears on. All right, how about Karen Crow and St. Martinville? Here is St. Martinville. Big run there. And then how about this? Wow, we've seen a lot of big plays tonight. That is a huge interception for the Bears. Karen Crow goes on to win this one 45 to 12 over St. Martinville. All right, how about this? The cameras arrive at Cougar Stadium, LCCP, and Westgate. LCCP down 14 to 6 to Westgate. Things only get worse for the Blazers. And how about Diedrich Lachele taking the halftime kickoff, cuts it back, and well, you can put it on the board. A touchdown. Nice play there as Westgate goes to LCCP and beats them at their place. 28-12, your final score. Lafayette traveling to Sulphur tonight. We'll pick this one up in the second half. Grayson Sonye going to roll out. Looks like he's going to run at the last minute. He finds hmm. a man wide open to make it 14 14. The Touchdown Lions. Right there. There that was the Okie Doke. Tours now trying to answer. Gage Traha airs it out here, and Caden Blalock makes the nice grab for a big game, but that drive would later stall. Lafayette with the ball back after that. Sonye rolling out on third and long, finds a man for a big gain. That drive would also stall, though. Sulphur goes on to win 24-21 the final. Wow, that's a close game there. 
Uh, man, Lafayette had that game, it looked like, but yeah. uh, just couldn't couldn't hold on late. Yeah, and it kind of seems like defense is a theme tonight that so far. And, that and catching the ball. Well, wide receivers <laughs> yes. are on fire this We've evening. We've seen some incredible plays tonight. Yeah. Excited to see what the rest of the night comes up for us. Coming up, about